what's up what's up y'all and welcome back to my channel it's c monet and today we're back in the kitchen take a picture snap this is reality they used to die to me now my mama she texted she proud of me got them bands on me i hit a lot of me i been she gone i done put it in work i done hurt my skates i got this shit on my arm hey. take a picture snap this should be reality we're gonna make some steak and cheese sandwiches and some sweet potato fries so if you follow me you know sometimes i'll be making like the egg rolls and the sliders and today we're just working making regular steak and cheese subs and some sweet potato fries so gonna show y'all how i make it what i do and so let's get started all right so right quick i'm about to give y'all a little layout of what we're about to be using we're gonna use our steakums, well, Philly cheese steaks or whatever. Um, American cheese. I cheated. Diced green peppers. I'm definitely about to cut up this onion though. I'm gonna mess up this sauce. The name it is, but you gonna need this, cause yeah. Then I got my seasonings right here, and I'm gonna tell you what they are as I go along. So let's chop this onion up. Let's get these peppers. Oh, and it's on my little grill or whatever y'all know i'm <laughs> fancy um about to chop up this onion get my green peppers and my onion in gonna take my fries get them in the air fryer and yeah let's cook all right definitely want to start off with freshly washed hands and we got our onion right here and i love like sweet onions because i really don't like onions but i use them for some flavor because you definitely gotta have that flavor when you're cooking so i ain't gonna use I ain't. Oh my gosh, that is horrible English. When my mom see this video, she gonna be like, "Oh um, boy." I'm not going to use a lot of this onion, so I'm just gonna cut some of it. Cause I want them fine. All right, that's all the onion that I'm gonna use, and we're gonna go ahead and slice it up. And again, like I said, I'm not an onion lover, so I'm making them thin, and I'm gonna chop them thin because. And it's not my favorite. I just use them for flavor. Mm. Now these onions about to make me cry. Hold on, wait a minute now. If you're watching this video, Tell me in the comment section what time you view this. <laughs> because I know I'll be watching YouTube videos late at night and be like, oh, I'm going to try that. Oh, I'm going to try that. And sometimes I never get to it because I'll be watching them late. But if I watch them early in the day, I might can still do it. All right. So our onions are chopped, right? We're about to turn our little griller on. And I'm gonna turn her to 400. Um, oh, about to use my whole damn tripod, hold okay. on. Um, and it started getting hot instantly. I got this little thing from Walmart, I think. Let me get some oil. I'm going to put a little vegetable oil in here to get our onions and our green peppers cooking. Hold on. All right, so I've got my oil. And I'm not going to put a lot in here, I guess. Mm -hmm. But we're going to put it to the side in case we need some more. Hopefully, I don't. Get my oil all around. And now we're about to drop these. Mm -hmm. 
And if y'all never heard people say your onions need to be like translucent, like they need to cook all the way through. And they gotta cook all the way through. And I'm also, while I'm onions cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and drop these green peppers in there. Like I said, we cheated today. Got green peppers that was already cut. I didn't go to the store. I sent my boyfriend to the store, but it was there. I might have put too many green peppers in there, but that's all right. And me, I'm the type of person that I season my vegetables. Why? Because I just do. So this right here, um, I use it a lot. Um, it's actually just a, a new bottle that I opened. And I'm using this because, of course, we're about to put some steak. So I'm putting a little of that on there. I'm also going to put some of this on there. And we're gonna throw some pepper on there. And we're gonna mix these veggies up. And y'all today. <laughs> we use them like the little Philly cheesesteak steak them type thing because they didn't have no damn steak in the grocery store so don't judge me judge your mama all right let's cover these up let them cook for like a couple minutes in the meantime in between time let's start on our fries all right guys got my air fryer we're going to cook our fries at like three something whatever this is i think it's like 375 or whatever i don't know it might be 400 hell and let's see these are the fries what does it say 425 so we're gonna put them on 400 and it say for half a bag 15 18 minutes all right we about to improvise so i'm gonna set this to 25 minutes and I already had some fries in here the other day so we're about to throw these fries in here this is my old bag y'all oh I'm about to throw these fries in here and just add some on top okay so all my fries are in here and I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the fryer 25 minutes excuse my ashy hands because I had to wash them all right fries cooking let's get back over here and check on our veggies i turned them down just a little bit with the ones that I already have before I go open the new ones. Who does that? And yes, they already frozen, so you just drop them in there. Okay, if you unthought it, yes, it ain't going to be good. If you see me jump from the grease line, you can just Okay, so that was only four. So we're definitely gonna have to use some more. Okay. 
Let me see exactly how they come. Alright, so I'll just do it eight. I think that's a good enough. Right now, I'm about to season it. Black pepper. Again, my complete sauce. Location. Again, steak. And we going in with my grill master brown sugar bourbon. If you watched my last video, you know this is my new favorite. It smells so good and it tastes good too. So it's gonna give it like that little kick that we need. All right, that's enough, Sierra. You're doing too much. All right, let's mix it, mix it, mix it. That is what it smells so good. Now we're gonna go in with our wash sauce. Told you I don't know how to say it. Don't judge me. Just a little. I'm gonna turn the heat down to 325. I'm gonna put the top on. And we're about to check on our fries. done that's almost done this is a quick meal turn our oven on 350 because we're gonna get our bread ready to go all right so i got my oven on um sub rolls for the win i'm going to uh, warm them put some cheese on them but i'm also going to put some cheese in here too um let that simmer some let it cook for a little while longer because i like my steak well done period <laughs> all right so i got my oven preheating i'm gonna go ahead and prep this bread so we can get it in the oven all right so like i said we're gonna go ahead and prep our bread so they can get a little like grill to them first and then I'm gonna flip them back over and put the cheese on top so the cheese can melt check 
Done. They're actually kind of brown, really brown. And get a strainer with your fries, even though they come out of an air fryer. Sometimes they still be having like you know, all that stuff. Sugar and regular sugar, like a mixture on these French fries. Why? Because it's good. Okay, and sugar. Let me show y'all my fries. I said some of them gotta look brown, and that's okay. But they got hood on them. I still like this one. I'm about to taste it. It's really good. So my fries are done. How's it done? I'm gonna turn this heat back up just a little bit. So that's with you. We're about to melt this cheese. Mm. And this is just regular white American sandwich cheese. You can use whatever kind of cheese you want. Mm. And I'm just laying the cheese on there so that the cooks is gonna melt down. Just a second. What I'm really trying to do is get it to where I don't really have to mix it. We just cover it. Oh, I did it perfectly. So I turned it back up to 350, but it really doesn't need to be on 350. And actually, I'm gonna put the top on it and let that cheese melt. Let's flip this bread. Oh, let's cut off. I got it on keep form. I'm gonna go ahead and take the top off of that though. And y'all see how the cheese melted on there? Like we really at this Philly cheesesteak place? Yeah, that's what I wanted. So. So around here, everybody different. So on this sandwich, we're gonna put barbecue sauce on here. All right, and I'm just gonna get some of this. I wanna keep it together. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, y'all. Uh, 
Yeah, man. Uh, Y'all, please excuse the noise in the background. It's horrible. Okay. Do you want barbecue sauce on top too or just on one side or both sides? steak and cheese sandwiches with barbecue and sweet potato fries. Oh. So as for me, I'm a little different. I like to have mayonnaise on mine. So, I'm gonna put some mayo on the top. And I also like honey mustard. So, I'm just gonna put one line of honey mustard. <laughs> Ketchup. Yeah, I don't even put ketchup on my grocery list. Don't look like anything coming out of here. And let's get my meat. This is my sandwich, so I can make it messy. Y'all, this is so good. I wish y'all could like, taste it, but you can't. But you can make it and tell me how it go. And then I'm gonna put these some fries on here. And this is my plate. All right, y'all. So I saw this drink on TikTok, and I'm about to try it with my dinner. Cause today I found the summer citrus Ciroc. So we're about to try summer citrus Ciroc and pineapple juice. And I'm about to tell y'all how I like it. So got my cups. Let's open the liquor. And I actually got like a cup of ice over here. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Oh, it's actually pretty good. I just seen this, and y'all know I love Grenadine. 
So I'm gonna add some of this in there just to give it a little sweet spot. It's it's really um citrusy, but it's good though. Let me see what it tastes like with that. That is really good. Y'all should try it. If you try it, let me know what y'all think. All right, guys, that's the end of my video. Steak and cheese and summer colada. Summer, I said summer colada. Summer citrus Ciroc with pineapple juice. So make sure that you like that video, comment, subscribe to my channel, turn that notification bell on so that every time I post a video, you get notified. And remember, you see me. Peace. This is reality. They used to die to me. Now my mama, she texting, she proud of me. Got them bands on me, I hit a lot of me. I began, she gone. I done put it in work, I done hurt my stress, I got this shit on my own. Ay. Take a picture, snap. This is reality.